Hello, Pete here from Digios Multimedia again, and um, in this video I will demonstrate how to add uh, Git source control to your uh, existing uh, Eclipse uh, Android project. So to begin, I will right-click on the Package Explorer and choose New Android Application Project. I'm going to enter the standard Hello World. And I'm just going to change this namespace here to uh, Digios so it makes a little more sense and hit next. Here the default values are fine, so next. And if you wish to add a new icon, you're welcome to uh, browse and grab a new icon. Then hit next. The uh, blank activity is fine. We'll hit next again and the uh, main activity is uh, uh, more than good, then we're done. So we'll hit finish to create a new project. So as you can see, this is our new project, and yes, it will compile and run. And um, so now what we want to do is, um, assuming that you've installed the uh, Git source control plugin, also known as eGit, uh, you'll have a menu option called Team from which you can share a project to add a source control to. If you don't have eGit plugin installed, go and uh, view the previous video that I've created on how to install eGit. So here we will uh, right click on the project folder, go to Team, Share Project. Check this option that says Use or Create Repository and Parent Folder of Project. And if you try to check this, it will tell you uh, it is not recommended to in, uh, create the uh, repository in the same folder. Uh, so we'll just create it by hitting this button right here, Create Repository, and hit Finish. So it may take a, a few seconds for uh, things to refresh, but when it does refresh, you will see this hello world no head um, up here. So the next thing we need to do is to make sure that uh, we add the index so that all the files in the project get source control. If you notice right now, they all have a question mark next to them, so that means they haven't been indexed. So we'll go to team and click on add to index to um, index everything and um, so we're pretty much uh, done here the only other option is um, we want to um, right click on the bin folder go under team and add an ignore for this folder just because um, we don't want, you know, we may share this uh, repository remotely and we, we don't want the bin uh, and the gen folders to um, uh, be tracked. So here we should see a .ignore uh, file. If you don't, then you have to um, enable the filter that allows you to do that. Um, So um, to make a long story short here, um, you will get um, a .ignore, .git ignore file here in your directory, which uh, you can then um, edit. And if you open it, there's already a line called slash bin edit here. Go ahead and add a slash gen uh, line to this uh, file in order to hide um, the gen folder also and um, you can uh, close the file and uh, you are now uh, done and ready to um, uh, do some changes I hope you found this video useful uh, feel free to subscribe for uh, future videos